government's relief measures for unemployed are to be introduced soon. The government is preparing to assist unemployed people by arranging training for them. As many as 500,000 Thai people are expected to face unemployment this year. Deputy Secretary General to the Prime Minister, Mrs. Anshali Vanit Tepabut, defined the unemployed into four groups. They are those who have been laid off, expecting to be laid off, workers in industries, and new graduates. She stressed that the training will enhance their particular skills to master or gear up to higher standards. She cites the example may be from housekeeping in three-star hotels to five-star hotels. During the 45-day training, participants will be paid an allowance at 4,800 baht. The government will also coordinate with financial institutes to lend special loans for these people who have completed the courses under the condition that they prove to carry out such careers. Kunan Shali advises people who are unemployed to register their names from March 1st through the 9th at the Ministry of Labor, Provincial Office of Employment and Local Government. The training course will commence on April 1st. And Patong Hospital is promised more doctors in April. Starting from April, the Patong Hospital is promised to have more doctors and medical staff working and to serve patients 24 hours a day. The plan was confirmed by the provincial chief doctor, Pong Sawat Ratanasang, who insisted that the problem of insufficient doctors at Patong Hospital has been tackled. He said the short-term solution now is having four doctors on duty. They are the hospital director, a doctor from Buta Shilinat Hospital, who will be there for one month from February 15th through March 15th, plus two more internship doctors from Wachira Hospital. The chief doctor went on to say that for the long-term solution, the ministry has circulated letters for doctors and medical personnel across the country to see if they are interested in working in the Batong Hospital. He said so far three doctors have registered their interest. Other than doctors, pharmacists and dentists also show their interest. As the dry season is, is with us now, let's check out the water supply situation which Phuket Irrigation confirms there is sufficient water. The Bangwad Dam, which is the main water source to feed the resort island of Phuket, is currently holding 4.1 million cubic meters, accounting for 56% of, of the reservoir's 7.3 million cubic meters. Director of Phuket Irrigation, Pinyo Hun Pat Dungrat, said, the reservoir has to feed 1.5 million cubic meters per month to the Provincial Waterworks Factory and the Office of Phuket City Water Supply Unit. That means with no rainfall, the office can distribute the water until mid-May. He reaffirms that the irrigation office had planned with the two offices for water management to ensure that it is sufficient until the next rainy season in May. Mr. Pino also reports about the water amount at another reservoir located on the northern side of the island, saying that it currently contains 2 million cubic meters, accounting for 28% of its carrying capacity, which is 7.2 million cubic meters. It distributes raw water to the plant in Talong at 100,000 cubic meters per month. This is also sufficient for all year. And the TAT director in Phuket sees the Taiwanese wedding in Phuket as value added for visitors, while TAT Taipei office aims to promote Phuket as a honeymoon destination. Pleased with the traditional Baba wedding of eight Taiwanese couples plus one local couple in Phuket, under the two islands, one culture on Valentine's Day, the director of Phuket tourism office, Setapan Buteni, said he expects the event to not only promote ties between the two islands, but it also reflected the harmonious living together of multicultural populations on the resort island. Satapan said he was pleased with the outcome and sees the event as value added for existing tourists, which he believed would help them tell their friends and families back home about their impressions of Phuket. Consider like value added. 
bonus when they are here they see something different and they tell friends at home that oh they have so much so many nice things to see in Phuket in Thailand and they help each other they, they they're doing this in terms of harmony safe place you know sea sand sun and also uh, sport uh, and security is here in, in, in Thailand in Phuket and then uh, more than that this one will expand the tourism number for example in the future not this season but for example in Taipei after this occasion we have the the, the, the newspaper the, the reporter together with them the radio reporter uh, uh, television reporter come together with them and after this I heard that they try to organize charter flight from that destination to Phuket and we also plan to do it uh, in China, in Indonesia, in Australia, more flight to come. Kutika Likit Wasinkun, the director of the TAT Taipei office, said about 40,000 Taiwanese visit Phuket each year, and many of them are honeymooners. She expects the Two Island One Culture event in which TAT invited Taiwanese to get married in traditional Hokkien style in Phuket would help promote more honeymooners to the resort island. The recent wedding, which was held on Valentine's Day, was participated in by eight Taiwanese couples, one Thai, and 25 honeymooners, plus a number of press. And Phuket welcomed more charter flights from Italy. Blue Panorama, an Italian charter flight airline, began operating a new route to Phuket for the winter season to increase the number of visitors from Italy according to news released by the Tourism Authority of Thailand. Blue Panorama Airlines has been operating direct flights connecting Rome and the resort island of Phuket since its inaugural flight on December 29, 2008. To support this new development, the, the Tourism Authority of Thailand recently hosted an agent's education trip and familiarization trip for 15 agents to travel to Thailand during January 27 through February 5th. The itinerary featured the three destinations of Phuket, Bangkok, and Ayutthaya. Additionally, a media education trip was conducted for 14 top-level Italian media representing television, radio, and daily newspapers during February 5th through the 12th. With flights being offered every Wednesday until March 2009, the newly launched Rome-Phuket-Bangkok route is expected to play an important role in encouraging more Italian tourists to travel to Thailand. In addition, another route serving Milan, Bangkok, Phuket operates every Thursday until March 2009. If the service receives positive feedback, it will continue to operate until August. The first flight from Rome was timed to coincide with the Christmas Day welcome and was launched on December 24th. The first flight from Milan started on December 26th. The route is expected to contribute to 500 tourist arrivals to Thailand per week. And finally, in local news, more trees added to the mangrove in Paklok. Villagers and students joined hands to plant trees at a mangrove area near Bangla Community Learning Center in Paklok. The activity was carried out to coincide with the opening of the learning center. Phuket Governor Preacher Rungjan officiated at the center and joined the villagers to plant trees. The activity was carried out under the project called Love Forest to encourage conservation at Taru Reserved Forest. It covers 3,181 rye, but has been encroached up on leaving only around 1,200 rye. The local community then got together to protect, check on, and revive the mangrove area in form of community forests. They received a flag signifying mangrove forest protection volunteers from Her Majesty the Queen in 2000.